Right guys, so we are talking about grubs in lawns and I've just arrived at this customer's property and he mentioned there was a nice big brown patch in the middle of the lawn. So I'm just going to show you what we've got. So every year, well, every month when we've, when we've come to this lawn, there's been a few issues and it's always the case with new build properties, you find issues in the ground, but this is not one of those issues, this is more of a grub activity now we've got a brown patch there so i had a quick look in the middle and as soon as i did it the turf was lifting up really easily look how the roots are really shallow the roots are literally just as big as the thatch so it's just about an inch and a half of roots there and it lifts up really easily so we'll take another section here you see how when you lift it the whole thing is moving up and down lifting up like a carpet and that means the roots are not gripped in they're not established look at that so what you need to do is take a sample not actually in the brown which I did for some stupid reason it's early in the morning you take it out of an area of green grass just to the side and that because the grubs will have eaten that and then they move across into greener areas to chew on those roots so we started digging here and literally you could see, look how that is lifting up. So the roots are not pushed down and, eat and, and established. And as you can see there, we've got a chafer grub. Okay. And in this section here, there was one in here. If we can find the uh, little offender. Seems to have scurried off. But, uh, yeah, so you can see the issue we have in here with the chafer grubs. There we go. So that is your chafer grub. Now, traditionally, you will see the May beetle flying around in May, sometimes June, and they have a copper coloured back and they fly around and look for others and they go into nearby bushes, trees and they mate and the female will come down and lay her eggs around May, June all depends on the time of the year and the temperatures this year I saw activity in January it's been a funny year once they've mated and laid their eggs two weeks later the eggs hatch and those eggs will hatch into little chafer beetles and they start off small and begin to feed on the roots and they will feed right through summer so it's better to catch the grubs when they're young. When the when the grubs are young, they're more susceptible. When they become big chafers, ch cock chafers, etc., they are. It's not as easy to kill them. So traditionally, what we would do is put a pesticide on, and you could kill them off in 24 hours. Most of these are banned now. So what other methods have we got? We've got nematodes, which you can buy online. The downside with nematodes is I find them a bit hit and miss. You've got to water them in really well. So you probably need to aerate the lawn first. Sometimes you need to scarify if it's thick. Um, and then you've got to continuously water for about two weeks. And that allows the, um, the nematodes to swim around in the water, find the grubs, enter inside an opening and release a poison that stops them from feeding. It's quite a bit of upkeep. And then the other solution we've got is turf solve. Now turf solve I've been using all this year with good results. And we sell turf solve now. I bought a load in bulk and I've just keep it on the website for anyone that's struggling with grubs in the lawn. Um, and for my customers pretty much, I just keep some in the van. Um, so turf solve, all you do, a quick, you just apply it onto the lawn and water it in. That is it, that's all you've got to do and it coats the beetle, the grubs, with um, like an, an oily film and it stops them from breathing, it suffocates them to a degree. All you gotta do is put it on once a month. A single bottle is 500 mil and that will do, um, I think it's 250 square meters twice. So depending on the size of your lawn, if you've only got a smallest lawn, it's, it's gonna last you four, five, six months. If you wanna buy some, go to our website, lawnright.co.uk forward slash shop 
um, and we can get a bottle out in the post here or you can buy it online at the the main company turf solve uk um, but i can help if you need some but in general you just get it on get it watered in um, and that will start to get the numbers of the grubs down because we don't have that chemical control you've got to keep on top with organic methods there are other little tips and tricks to getting rid of grubs in your lawn you can come out with a black sheet at night and lay it across the affected area and in the morning all the grubs will come up to the surface and you can just pick them off put them in a bucket and just repeat it so there's lots of little things you can do like that right so i hope you've enjoyed this video any questions pop them in the comments below um turf solve also works for leather jacket grubs which is the the grubs of the daddy long legs and there have been a lot of those around this year and it also has some effect on ants black ants red ants are a bit more harder but by repeated applications you should be able to get on on top of them right see you soon